Hi everyone, back with another journal to share. Um, this one is using another one of these beautiful tan old books. It's got a lovely gold filigree pattern inside. Put lace on the outside and I've also put these lovely flowers. I've used these flowers inside so these were the leftovers so I'll glue them on. Okay, so it measures just over 8 by just under 5 inches. I've got a hitch post, I've dyed the seam binding and I've gone again with the lovely sort of neutrally flow. It's got a reinforced spine with a cotton crocheted lace, a nice filigree over here, and the tags. I like writing on those, that's why they're so plain. But they just look pretty all tea dyed and sitting inside the pocket here. Got some beautiful um, lace and then I've punched out a shape, flare, muslin and a wee daisy. On this side another lace with some muslin and rosette. So we've just basically had a lot of fun with a bit of layering. So we've put cotton here. <laughs> and I've just stamped a little bit on the top there. Telegraph paper. The centre and the same on the other side. And it just sits nicely in there so lots of spaces for journaling. That lovely die cut again. The theme in this one is the Jane Austen images out of the lovely old book. And it's a mixture of Emma and Sense and Sensibility and I think there's some of Northanger Abbey in there. So there's some layering and some lace. Punch the edge on it. Stamp the roses on the top, a different stamp this time. The onion paper pocket, a couple of little tags there with some muslin rosette and I've tied them on with the string and we've got the nice stamp of the roses on the back, these are lovely and solid for writing on that lovely old music paper again a nice image and got a large tag at the top here with a bit of lace underneath and then I've made this into a side pocket and got a mini little paper clip, it's an envelope that opens and it has paper inside and then this lovely journaling spot. And I'll just put that under there so it doesn't get lost in the pocket and it just slides in nicely with the tab exposed. A ribbon down the sides, got some nice journaling pages in the centre the music, I've made a couple of tags out of them. Go back to another pocket on the music page. This is the original old paper I've used, but it's quite um, thick. It's got a really good thickness to it, so it holds the weight lovely. On the back, I've made a side tuck. Cleaning his glasses. And we've got just um, half a doily and the flowers again with the muslin. A little stamps on the top. Back of that lovely die cut. And the back of the glass in bag and in this one. Just got a nice journaling spot and it's got a rose stamp on it. And some seam binding here at the side. And it just sits nicely in there so that's the first signature. And then paper. See, a lot of enjoyment using this. As you all know, I love Jane Austen, as most ladies do, so it was just nice to um, get some of these lovely images out and use them. Make a lovely journal card. And the pocket's deep enough that you can put more and add your own. This is nice tags again with the layering on top. Another one of these side tucks, so the card in this one's a bit bigger, so the image is bigger. And it just sits in there and there's a little piece of writing paper inside that envelope. And go to the writing pages. Got that nice crinkle baking them in the oven. Love that sound. Stamped on the back. That one just sits nicely in there. Side 
little pocket here with the image, again with the layering on the music paper. Let's do the telegraph paper. Back of this, sorry, so that's the second signature. So starting the third signature, there's another wee booklet in here. Just the same wee goodie pages in it. And there's no stamping in this one at all. Just pages to write on. Sits nicely in the pricing bag. Beautiful image. Nice. Long tall tag going in there, the layering on the bottom. I'm enjoying just doing these lovely neutral ones. Not quite relaxing, the weather's so up and down here at the moment. Today it's really hot, so we've gone from sort of really cold to rain to lovely warmth. So it's hard to get a enthused about bright colours, so I'll just do the neutral. Okay, and this one will be listed in my Etsy for sale, Treasures by Teresa L. And I should put the link below. And the side pocket, I love this image, just beautiful. This old carriage. There you go, this is what I've been working on. And in the back pocket, another lovely image. And of course I've stamped it on the back. A bit of layering on the pocket there. And here we have it. And Jane Austen Vintage Journal with original images. So thank you all for taking the time to look at it. Really do appreciate it. Um, I've got some still images of it over on Pinterest if you want to pop over and have a look. Thanks everyone.